Today we can discuss a psychiatric illness known as post-traumatic stress disorder or otherwise we call it as PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. So what is this post-traumatic stress disorder? This is that and any emotional or mental stress after an injury, that is mental trauma, mental injury. Post means after, trauma means injury. Here this is emotional or mental injury. So after that, they develop a stress disorder. That means the stress and anxiety. This is known as post-traumatic stress disorder. So why this happens? There are many causes for this post-traumatic stress disorder in our daily routine life. So the cause of post-traumatic stress disorder may be a violence, that is a serious injury or self, that is a serious injury to self or others. Any incident which causes a serious injury to self or others or any incident causing threatened death, threatened death or a serious injury to self or others. That is the trauma, mental injury. So examples are violence, physical violence, maybe physical violence or emotional violence, family violence or domestic violence. Sometimes the cause may be an incident that is witnessing a car accident. Sometimes the cause may be witnessing some assault, which is physical assault. Sometimes it is a sexual assault, witnessing a sexual assault or experiencing an sexual or physical assault. Sometimes the natural disasters such as earthquakes or flood can be there, which causes a post-traumatic stress disorder. Sometimes the cause may be car accident, seeing an accident or involving in an accident, a car accident or a bus accident or a bike accident, either involving or seeing others, the accidents or sometimes the violence such as monkeying, shooting, that is the, the seeing a person doing suicide, anything can be. Any violence can cause a trauma of mental injury. So what happens in this post-traumatic stress disorder? This post-traumatic stress disorder means the person seeing this or feeling or experiencing this problem will have recurrent intrusive thoughts, recurrent intrusive thoughts in the brain of the reliving the experience. The person always relives or experiences the same after this incident also. So there will be recurrent intrusive thoughts that means reflecting the images of that incident, reflecting the thoughts of that incident. So the person will have problems in difficulty in concentration, problems in thinking, problems in living a daily routine life because these thoughts come intrusively or obsessively into the mind. So what happens is that if a person experiences car accident or the person sees a car accident, actually when the person takes the daily newspaper and sees the photo of an accident, he develops these symptoms. He cannot see the photo, he cannot hear the incidents. So what are the symptoms? The anxiety symptoms. That means there will be trembling of the body, there will be difficulty in concentration, difficulty in thinking, there will be sleeplessness. The person will have no sleep because of these intrusive thoughts. He cannot see the photos or images of that incident or likewise incidents. He cannot hear the incidents by, from others or he cannot think over them. He cannot think the similar incidents also. So he develops the fear, the restlessness, the mental restlessness, the physical restlessness and he develops anxiety. That means he develops intense fear and anxiety thinking about the incidents. So there will be fear, anxiety and sleeplessness thinking about the incidents, showing the photos, showing the images or seeing similar incidents. He will collapse due to the anxiety or fear. This will uh, this will obstruct the daily routines. There will be difficulty in concentration, so difficulty in studying if there is a student, difficulty in the work, that means going to the job or doing, doing the office work or the, they will encounter a difficulty. That is, 
It is because of the post-traumatic stress disorder. So the, here the person continually relives the incident on seeing the photos or hearing the incidents or seeing the events also. So I think it is clear now. That is what is post-traumatic stress disorder. Causes can be, as I told clearly earlier, violence, which is emotional, sexual, or physical, any natural disasters like earthquakes, flood, fire, or any violence that is rape or sexual assault or physical violence, family violence, community violence, the vision of shooting, mugging, snatching, everything, anything can cause is cause a threatened injury to self or others or cause a threatened death. That is the post-traumatic stress disorder. So, I think it is very clear now what is post-traumatic stress disorder and what may be the causes of post-traumatic stress disorder and what are the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. So, with more psychiatric illnesses or more symptoms or psychiatric words we can discuss or psychiatric illnesses we can discuss in the upcoming videos. Until then, goodbye.